the first thing you're doing in your setup is you're opening your stance and moving the ball forward. So seven iron is going to be just inside your left heel a couple of inches. The second thing is you're working on turning your left shoulder and making your hands swing right around your left hip. That's your practice swing. You're also practicing taking the club more to the outside like that. And then from there, you're just turning through it, which is good. You're not dropping the club underneath anymore. See how that club doesn't drop under? You were way underneath before. Yes. Uh, so that's an improvement. You're also checking your weight to see if it's on the middle of your feet. Looks to me like it's still back in the heel. That little ball should be between the crosshairs. There's two crosshairs there. Okay. So it's a little bit on the heels. But this swing right here is good because you're going to get contact that's pretty solid from swing to swing. Am I reaching for the ball? No, you're not reaching. Your hands are right underneath your shoulders, which is where they should be. Okay, good. You should feel like the uh, grip pressure is fairly light in your hands. Yeah, light on the right hand. Yeah. Lighter on the right yeah, hand. Yeah, light and more in the lead uh, three fingers of the left, the last three fingers of the left, yep. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, so if we were to look at your swing, uh, you know, back a ways. Let me find, no, that's Cameron Smith. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I keep getting in the way here, but let's see if this shows where your club's traveling. Back swing was good. Yeah, here you can see you drop underneath. See how the club's way underneath there? Yep. So that's where you started. And so now it's not quite, well, you're not doing that at all. So that's an improvement. So I, I'm, I'm sensing just because I'm a creature of habit and feel, is that that little half swing. Right. Yeah, that's a good. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, I would. I would incorporate that definitely. Yeah, here I'm showing you how to make your hands swing to the left. Yeah. And I was saying to you, I want you to feel like you're going to hit that noodle. So you're you're starting to get the. I don't get any of that on my videos. Well, you're going to get all of this because we. This is this has been at least two minutes. Now this was last lesson. This one on the right? Yeah, yeah, and you took it I back. Yeah, and the club's not dropping underneath. So that's good. We talked I'm, about... I'm getting a, like a, I feel like I'm, I'm doing a little chicken, chicken wing on my left. We talked after, about... After we talked about getting your weight to feel like it's in the middle of your feet. Yeah. We also want your rear end to go back not forward see how your rear ends going forward there so that tells me your weight's still on your heels that vertical heels rather than on yeah see how your butt goes forward there yeah that's no good well, I thought that would have no okay. no your weight's on your heels when your butt goes forward because what's happening is you're starting with it on your heels and then you're moving your weight back to a balanced position during your swing so you got to load your toes make sure you do that but, you know, like the swing on the left over here, this was the today's swing. That's better. I mean, you're not moving as far forward on the ball. So, I mean, you'll see here. At the top of your swing, I want your butt on that line or behind the line. You are. That's because your weight's all on your heels at a dress. Remember, the brain seeks balance. So when you're off, when your weight's all on your heels, like it is here, 73% heels, 97% heels, it's going to try to seek balance and move forward. And there you are at impact. Your weight goes forward. So that's what we're trying to work on.